the second angel's message to be repeated, June 12. The second angel's message of Revelation 14 was first preached in the summer of 1844, and it then had a more direct application to the churches of the United States, where the warning of the judgment had been most widely proclaimed and most generally rejected, and where the declension in the churches had been most rapid. But let's see what the Bible says. In the book of Revelation chapter 14 and verse 8, the Bible says, There followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Let's consider the word Babylon. Uh, the word Babylon means confusion. Uh, the Bible says Babylon is falling. What does this mean? Let's look at fallen. Fallen means to lose authority or to lose a grip of uh, what you stand for, to lose uh, the grip of your sins or your precepts. Uh, Babylon is falling. Or in other words, confusion has lost its authority or its hold. How could uh, confusion lose its authority or its hold? A uh, simple. Uh, God's message of truth uh, conquers error. A truth would always win above error. Where there is truth, error cannot stand. Where there is light, darkness must be uh, consumed. So Babylon will be fallen. Uh, God's word will not be confused. For God's word is direct. God's word is precise. And God's word is powerful. God still has a chosen people who are still in Babylon. In other words, God still have a people who is still in confusion. And before the visitation of his judgments, uh, these faithful ones must be called out of Babylon, must be called out of confusion that they will not partake of her sins and receive of her plagues. I want to submit to you today uh, that you might be wondering how this fall of Babylon or how this confusion applies to you. One word, clarity. Uh, as we look at clarity, we understand that through God's word, uh, we can receive understanding as to where the confusion is. Why not trust uh, God's word uh, today? Let us ask God for clarity of his word, for that's the power of his word. Why not pray with me? Father, grant us clarity as we seek a direction from your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember. The power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay. <laughs>